Hi, everybody. This is a wee bit of alchemy. I'm Rick Barrett. Welcome. Today, I would like to take you on a little journey into your spine and start to tune it up so that it does the work it's designed to do optimally for you. And um, I uh, focus on this because I find that most people do not have a real sense of their spine and how to how to align it in a way that allows the energy to move as as well as it could. And so we've talked a lot in in for a long time about the getting the the getting into the feet and opening up the the bubbling well in your foot to allow the earth energy to come up to yin chi of the earth. We talk about reaching with the crown to open up to the yang chi of the heavens. We open up the jade pillow gate in order to lengthen the spine and open up and allow the chi to flow. The uh, But we don't spend a lot of time talking about the spine itself. And I'd like to do a little bit of that today and, and do a few exercises that I've come up with to, to help increase awareness of that and help you to find the sweet spot in your own posture. Because what we're looking for is that place where the energy is flowing uh, uninterrupted, that you've eliminated the major kinks in the hose and the chi flows. And so if we look at, at the... Uh, uh, in Chinese medicine, we talk about the do the do channel runs up the the uh, the back, starts at the coccyx, at the tip of the coccyx, and goes all the way up over the top of your head and down to your upper lip. So there's that's rising up that way. So the we're doing that. The um, um, Ren channel is come, starts at your hui yin or your perineum and comes up the center and goes up to your lower lip. And so we bridge the gap by placing the tip of the tongue behind the teeth so that we have that, that full energetic connection there. We also bridge the gap by lightly lifting on the perineum so that there's a connection at the anus because there's a break there at the anus. And so by lifting lightly on the perineum, you make the energetic connection there as well. We also talked about recently um, about wagging your tail, imagining you have a dragon tail and it links up to the, to the do one at the, at the really at the tip of your coccyx. And so if we wag the tail, it, circulates the chi on this great central channel and allows it it allows you to fill up with with energy it kind of creates this reservoir of chi that you get to play with and and it then gets distributed along all the the various uh channels meridians to the far extensions of your of your body so getting the getting the do and the ren channels, getting those open and the chi flowing, um, linking up the, the heaven chi and the earth chi. And what we want to do is to really get a, um, a sense of the spine. I, I found doing this for a long time that most people do not have a sense of of their spine unless it's hurting. And so we want to get that, you know, get a real clean feel for what that sweet spot is. So, you know, it, I remember even as a, uh, as a kid, like a, and, you know, teenager, you know, wondering how to hold my head so that it wouldn't hurt so much. I would get headaches all the time. And uh, so, and I suspected even then that, it was something to do with the way I was, the way I was holding my body, but I couldn't figure out, you know, what, what it was. So it's been a, a process over decades to fine tune that and be able to be able to present it to you in, in, a, in, in this cool way. 
So uh, let's stand up and we'll uh, we'll do some back stuff, okay? Some spine stuff. Okay, so first we wanna make that energetic connection with the earth and the sky. So let's start by feeling into the balls of your feet, unlock the knees, and really just sink down into your feet. Allow the your weight to spread throughout your feet, but you're primarily focusing on the ball of the foot. And this allows for that, uh, uh, a, it acts as the substantial connection that allows the insubstantial energy to come up through the bubbling well. So we we want to have that release your your hip joints. You want to have nice and relaxed there. You're sinking down. It's like you're sitting down into your feet. Reach up with the crown of your head, tuck in your chin. And open the jade pillow gate at the base of your skull. So what we're doing already is we're lengthening the spine. We're we're just by reaching up and sinking down, we're kind of pulling on both ends. And that's that's really cool. That's stuff we've been doing here for quite some time. So the uh, reach out a little bit with your elbows, so your arms are rounded, you rotate your palms so they're facing backward. And just feel into your hands. Notice the, the action that's happening there, the chi that's happening in your hands. Point your index fingers and reach with that and feel your energetic coherence. So all we're doing right now is just releasing down. And the only thing that's reaching up is the crown of the head. So here we're really embracing the yin uh, feeling that yin chi of the earth is is filling up and creating a substantial feeling in the body. Your body feels dense. It feels heavy. At the same time, you're reaching up with the crown very lightly and feeling a very insubstantial quality there, that insubstantial connection with the heavens. So now I want to uh, give you a, a simple exercise that uh, we've done before in, in this, this class, but I'd like to bring it out again and um, add a little bit to it where we're going to use a vertical surface. In this case, uh, I'm going to use this wall over here and put my heels against the wall and my butt's against the wall, my shoulder blades are touching the wall, and I'm reaching up with the crown of my head. So I'm feeling my body aligning to the verticality of the wall. So in doing this, what I'm doing is I'm, I'm plumbing my uh, posterior line. That is, I'm the back of my body. It's not my center line, but it's my, my back. And that just gives me an idea of what straight feels like. So just hanging out here for, you know, let's say 30 seconds or so, you want to get that feeling of what, you want to relax into this and feel what that feels like to have your body straight. This is, acts as a check for your, for your verticality. This plums your posterior line. And remember that, you know, the posterior line, your back is, is a few inches to the rear of your center line. So we haven't gotten to that. We haven't gotten to that yet, but let's just start with the, let's just start with this. So we get, we feel straight. So now, which is very, Slowly, gently 
reach with your wrists and front of you. And notice there's a tendency, your, your body wants to pull forward. Reach with the fingers. Uh, don't, you wanna hold this position. So here we are where you're vertical, yet your arms are reaching out in front of you. So there's some weight that's, that if, I'm, if I don't make an effort, I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna fall forward. So I, I'm actually reaching back. I'm, I'm, I'm keeping my, my shoulders, my shoulder blades against the wall as I reach out and press down. And then just pause a moment and just feel into that. But we've done something. We've, we've injected a little novelty into the equation there just by raising the arms. And what we're trying to do with that is create an internal sense of what it feels to be vertical. So I'm not dependent on this wall. I can't take the wall around with me all the time. So I want to be able to have this internal sense of what it feels like to do that. Let's do this again. So you reach with your wrists, reach with your fingers, and open up your shoulder blades, you know, keeping contact with the wall, and just feel that you're actually doing some work here by holding this posture. And as we're doing the work, notice that you're generating some chi flow. And reach down with your elbows, down with your wrists, down with your fingers, and go back to your center. Go back to, or not your center, but go back to the, this vertical posture. And now we're going to change that, and we're going to align, since we've been really connecting with the substantiality of the wall, right? We're feeling that that's our, our cheat here. So now we're going to unlock the knees a bit and just fold from your quad, your, your hip joints, just slightly so that you feel your center line, your center of grip, your plumb line, going down to the balls of your feet. So you want to feel that and just hold Hold that posture and just get a sense of what that feels like. We still want to keep the back straight. We want to keep the spine straight as we do this, still reaching with the crown of the head, but now we're centering over the balls of the feet. So we're not, we're the butt still touching the wall, but our back is has moved forward a little bit. So that now we're feeling that center line down, the, down to the, uh, uh, you know, a few inches forward of, of the posterior line. And just notice as you do this, that there's a lot of chi in your hands. There's a lot of chi in your arms. And now we're going to reach with the wrist. We're going to do the same thing. Reaching with the wrist, reach with the fingers, open up your shoulder blade and reach out. Keeping your center, you want to keep your center line and notice your, the balls of your feet are kind of pressing down. You're, you're really sinking into that. They're doing, they're doing a bit of work there. They're supporting you. You're reaching out, you're opening up between the shoulder blades and you're creating a, a, a substantial chi flow there. And we're also really keeping keeping some awareness on the, on the spine. And then wrist come down, fingers, and you're still in that, you still wanna have your center. So your, your um, your scapula is not touching the wall now. It's just, it's out a little bit, an inch or so so that you can feel, feel the, your center line. And now we're gonna do it again. Feel, reach with the wrists, reach with the fingers, stand out and open. 
keeping your center there. And notice that it's it's taken a little bit of effort to make this work, but it's doing so creates chi flow. Relax your spine as you're doing this. Relax your lower back and then reach down with your elbows, down with your wrists. And put your fingers and just feel in your hands and notice the energy that's happening there. Feel your balls of your feet and notice the energetic connection with the earth that's occurring. Relax and feel your spine. Relax your lower back and allow your, uh, your pelvis to even out. Yeah, now step away from the wall. And you want to find that central equilibrium. Your body has a memory of it from having been checked at the wall. Your back is straight. Relax your lower back. Now, reach with your wrists, your fingers, open, open your back. Now, go to your heels as you reach down. But you're still keeping your back straight, you're still keeping your back vertical. Even though I'm, notice my, my spine is straight here. So as I'm coming up here, balls my feet, and then, and as I sink into my heels, there's still a vertical line there. There's still a plumb line that goes to the center of my body. And that, that central equilibrium connects the dots for us. And having the spine relaxed and opened, really reaching and creating space between the joints allows the chi to flow much more, much more fluidly, much more um, freely. Good. Okay, so now we're going to do another exercise. And this one, you bring your hands up your center line, and then open. And here, what you want to do is then arch your back. So it looks like Looks like this. I'm coming up like this and I'm arching my back, opening my throat, looking up at the ceiling. My shoulders, chest are wide open. I'm reaching out, and really feeling into that. And then, ah, uh, I'm down. And now we continue and we're gonna go the opposite way. So this is a wide open young expansion. We're gonna now sink in and we're going to round the back, sink down, squat down and really come in. Your arms fold in, your back is rounded, your chin is touching your chest and then you're coming up. And open. And really just hang in there for a moment. And really just explore the range of motion in your spine. Because a lot of us, we don't do that. We, you know, we don't feel safe doing that. But your knees are unlocked. And so you can really reach out. And the tensegrity of your structure allows you to hold that. Now you come back up. 
and back to center. And now I want you to find your central equilibrium here. So we went big, big yang, big yin. Now we're back to center. And just feel into that. You want to feel the neutrality of this posture. Down, 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 sink, 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 sink. Bend your knees, sink down. Crouch down. You really feel into the yin, feel into the com compression, the contraction. Okay, now you're going to come up and open, reaching with your fingers, your hands, opening up your chest. Really feel into that expansion and then come back to center and find your center again. Find that that plumb line down through your down through your body. Put your back allow your back to do its job. Relax your lower back and allow your sacrum to drop and just sink. Sink into your heels. And then bow forward, press down, round your back, sink, compress, yin, and open, yang. Reach, expanded. And then come up the center. So what we're doing is we're finding that sweet spot. We're putting our, our body in extreme positions, only to come back to center, to reload, to reset. So when we're in that full expansion, we feel what it feels like to really open the chest, open the shoulders, and open the arms so your, your connective tissue is being expanded, extended. And then when we compress, we're going down and ah, we're feeling what it feels like to be really tight and in. And then ah, come back up to center and hold that. Then press down. And pause and just feel into the feel into that. Now we're going to do one more thing. Since we've established our center line, we're going to use that to rotate. The hands come up and reaching out. Feel your fingers, feel those. Feel your fingernails as if you have dragon claws there. We're gonna do a little dragon, dragon tail action here. So imagine a tail extending out from your coccyx and we're going to sink into your left leg and turn and reach with your tail, keeping your verticality as you do that. And turn and reach with your tail, go the other direction. You're rotating around that central axis. And then back to center. Reach with your right hand. Read, have your, your on your left as you turn your Tail reaches to your right. So you get your right leg turning from your center line. Your left hand comes across, reach your tail to your left. And back to center. Feel that tail. Now move without moving. 
we're just going to move to the left now. You're going to do this, but you're not going to move. Your tail is going to wag to the right as you turn to the left, reaching out with your left hand, but we're not moving. I want you to feel that preparation that your nervous system has to go to. You can do everything but actually engage your muscles to make something happen. So you're engaging that. Now you're going to wag your tail to your left and you're going to reach with your left hand without moving. Feel that extension, feel that tail reaching out. Feel your center line, feel the energy moving on your do and your run channels. Feel your whole body feeling with chi. Yeah. Hands come down. Pause here and find your center. We're going to find that sweet spot again. Align your spine. Feel the energy that's moving through your whole body. Step in with your left foot. Inhale, hands come up. Exhale, with your heels and uh, release. Throw that all away. Feel into the emptiness now. You're pulsing with the space around you. You're pulsing with your environment, but there's no clear distinction between you and your environment. Great. Okay, please have a seat. Was that the one you wanted, Jonathan? Oh. You're on mute. You're on mute. Right. I, I don't have to demonstrate it. It really is the exaggeration of the movement beyond like not like re and then reach, but really, really, that's because I am a hunched guy, so it 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 really has an effect. It helps helps me reset to a wider level. So beautiful, great, beautiful. Oh, Valerie. Uh, <clears throat> what I really appreciated was experiencing my shoulder blades more fully mm. you know so taking that i mean when i've done that exercise yes i feel my shoulder blades but the way that we did it this time and taking my focus on purpose into the space or the feel of my shoulder blades and the space between my shoulder blades uh, was markedly improved uh, and with good results because, oh, yeah, there was chi, there was chi all over the place. <laughs> gushing, chi gushing. <laughs> Beautiful. Scott. So I got questions and comments. Um, I love questions and comments. Okay, so the first one is um, when you're with your back to the wall, what parts of your body are actually touching the wall? I mean, your is it heels? Right. Your butt? Your shoulder blades 
and the back of your head. So the back of your legs and your back aren't really. No. Okay. And and that 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 establishes your you know your your verticality, you know, with reference to your posterior line. Then we shift that forward just a, an inch or two, and then we can line up with the 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 feeling of the center line. Because some of the because exer you know, some of the exercises I do, I can get I can get most of my back and most of my and part of my legs to touch the wall, but I don't know if that's what you're looking for or not. I, I don't think in this one, I'd rather the knees unlocked so that the the, you know, the, the, the legs aren't fully touching there, you know, and uh, you, uh, I, I suppose if you have a, uh, you know, a really flat lower back, you could probably you know, touch that also, but you want to, you know, it's more important to get the, uh, you know, the alignment rather than ex an extreme uh, uh, example of the, you know, of touching everything. You're you know. still tucking, when you're still tucking your chin as you're doing that. Right. It's harder to tuck your chin, tuck your chin and keep your head at the, on the wall at the same time is kind of a. Yeah, so that, that's, right? that's part of the fun. That's part of the fun there. Kind of like rubbing your belly and tapping your, patting your head at the same time. Uh, you know, there's, 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 uh, you know, you, you, you gotta, you gotta lengthen the back of your neck as you do that. And then, you know, after we establish that vertical line, then we throw it away and we just go back to, you know, we have that sense of verticality, but we're not, we're not limited to those, to the, those, that posture. Jonathan, you had something? Yes. Um, my shoulder blades, my heels, my butt, that all felt great, but trying to get my head back up, the back of my head on the wall, no bueno. Did not work well. So now no, that that's okay, don't 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 sweat it. It's like you're just you. It is the effort to do so that matters. That's what creates the creates the change. It's like oh, we're trying. We're not, uh, you know, it's it, it, we're not just uh, allowing it to take the shape that it ordinarily sh takes. It's like oh no, you know, going like that and. Okay, that uh, maybe it doesn't go all the way back. That's fine. So next question: uh, When we're opening all the way up, I, I'm gonna have to. Let's see if I can. I have to do that with my neck, or else I get lots of pain. Like you know, like compress the back. That's the only way I can do that when where not everything in my neck doesn't hurt. Okay. I do that, it's fine. Okay, it's just, well, you know, you know it's a, you're reaching with the crown. So I, see, I can't rather than like that. It's more like this. You're you're lengthening the neck as you as you do it. So it creates space between the vertebrae, between your cervical vertebrae as you do that. So uh, you're able to to reach farther and open up more. I, I can't. I mean, I guess I got to start out really small then because I, I can't, when I try and reach, when I try and reach up, it screws up my neck, my shoulders, everything hurts. Okay. Well, don't screw up your neck. <laughs> well, it, it hurts. It doesn't bad. screw up and it hurts. Well, that'd be bad. We do just, if it's, yeah. if it's, it's telling you, ow, then right. that means that you're doing something wrong. So right. take it back a notch and say, okay, what can, what can, how can I move in that direction without, you know, without going for maximum, you know, extension? Yeah, it's kind of a, it's kind of weird because everything else can go really far. I mean, I can get my arms all the way back and my back can go all the way back, but my neck doesn't want to fly. Honor that. I just, but it's, as you do it, the more you do it, the more it opens. And you know, you're particularly if it doesn't feel threatened. Usually, right. you know, if we're feel if it feels threatened, then it tightens up, and then we're I can't do it. You know, like, enforcing it is not a is no bueno. So right. Uh, right. just uh, hmm. Jonathan, you had something. 
Yeah, I was going to say coming in to the sweet spot from the emphasis on the back, for some reason, it, it, it emphasized to me the difference between a sweet spot and a default spot. You know, that because there's, they have similarities, right? It's like the body just, oh, okay, this feels right, and I'll just stay here for the rest of the day, even though it's mostly inertia and it's not such a good place to be. Because, I mean, the sweet spot, as much as it is a, like a coming home and, oh, this just feels so right, it does take an enormous amount of minute awareness and maintenance, whereas the default spot doesn't, and that's kind of a difference. So I, I I need to really separate those out of my mind. The, the the sweet spot really, for all of its coming home quality, has a lot of fine tuning going on moment by moment, even as you're enjoying it. That's you know, that's a great point. And if, I think you know when we're talking about the sweet spot, we're orienting to something which is insubstantial, the energy in that. And so even though we're working hard. We're putting in some effort to make this happen. You know, the reward is that, oh, we're getting this chi flow that we would not come close to ordinarily. Right. But it comes with, with making that effort like, oh, OK, yeah, yeah, I feel it. You know, but as you know, Scott points that out, slightest... you know, whenever it hurts, don't do it till it yeah, hurts. That's... That slightest little shift and an enormous amount of chi, like you get, you get so much reward for such little <laughs> change, you know, my new change. Absolutely, absolutely. Well, well put. It's a yeah, it's a lot of bang for the buck. And uh, so uh, yeah, so here's a title. That, what's that? Forget super conscious. More bang for your buck. Tai Chi with Rick Perry. You know. <laughs> <laughs> So getting that, ah, oh, okay. And have, the more you do it, the more you get an internal sense of where that sweet spot is. Yeah. And you're the, the conflict between the default setting and, and the sweet spot, you know, you start to bridge that gap a little bit better. You start to say, okay. I mean, the, other, the other thing about it is it really is a spot, whereas whatever else you're coming out of isn't. It's some vague conglomeration of tension. You couldn't call that a spot, <laughs> right. you know? Right, right. So that's, that's, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Contrasting <laughs> efforts and counter efforts to kind of hold this thing together. Mm. And uh, so what we're doing, but every it, time we go there and we organize to that, that central axis, then we, amplify our effective power dramatically and we can let go of tension because we don't need it we don't need it to get the job done right magic stuff and it just kind of goes off of what Jonathan's saying but you know as we're against the wall and trying to lift our arms it's amazing how much work you got to do to not go forward it's like my body keeps wanting to go forward keeps wanting to go, you got to keep paying attention the whole time it was it was really and it makes me realize that I, and i kind of noticed this this week practicing too that you know you got to keep finding the sweet spot when you're doing your form or whatever and i noticed that you know just lifting your arms yeah well now okay now i'm leaning i'm looking in the mirror and i'm like oh look now i'm leaning forward because i'm not nice Good. finding that sweet spot yeah yeah yeah, the, uh, you know, when we're first learning the, you know, Tai Chi Tran, you know, we're, you know, the, the motto was just relax. Mm -hmm. Everything is just relax. And so you kind of take the shapes that are most relaxed. And a lot of that, you know, is into that, you know, shapes that, you know, your default shapes, which oftentimes are not terribly efficient. Mm -hmm. And are not we do not really support your energy so we're actually doing some work here and saying oh okay yeah raising my arms without going forward this is not easy this is something i have to i have to bring my intention to and i have to say yeah this is i'm, I'm holding i'm holding this my body position and doing this other thing which i guess what i uh 
the confusion that people get into that I really want to clarify here is the difference between central equilibrium and balance. Mm. So, so, you know, if you're lifting your arms and you're falling forwards, it's because you're trying to maintain your balance, mm. right? And when you're in central equilibrium and you do that and you're, you know, there's, it's not balanced. There's, there's this, there's something odd about this shape and your body recognizes that, but you're saying, that's okay, do it anyway. This is not, this is not the way we've been doing it for the last many decades. This is something new. We're, we're, we're doing this other thing here. And it changes your, your whole attitude to your form at that point. So it's like, oh, okay, everything is, my orientation point is move, it moves from balance to central equilibrium. So whenever I, my arm comes out to do a ward off, you know, I'm not trying to, I'm not chasing my arm out. I'm extending from the center. And it is that, mm, that pulls in opposition that creates the, the chi flow. When I watch Fukui do his turns, it's, it's almost like central equilibrium as balance. He maintains such a perfect kind of twirl. You know, it's it's I it's so clean. It's such a clean turn. He's very so good. What, yeah. <laughs> He's very good at what he does. <laughs> 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 so yes, he, he, he makes he makes it look easy. He does yeah. make it look easy. He makes it look easy. It does, doesn't mean it's easy, it just makes it look easy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not in this lifetime for this Westerner, no. <laughs> Uh, you know, it's how far can we take it? You know, it's, what's what's the next step for me? You know, how can I how can I learn something new and uh, and bring more of that in? You know, we're you know just in the work we've been doing in this class has really expanded everybody's kung fu dramatically in the last couple of years. I was just thinking there what we do get we can access. He always, without exception, looks joyful when he's doing it well, because that's... he's transformed the dense body into something else. And that joy we do partake in. We can partake in feeling Indeed. the density of the body go and the certain lightness and the chi coming in. And it def redefines the sense of a body. So when people say relax the body, well, we're not really we're transforming the body. And then we're doing things. And lo and behold, we have what you think is relaxation. But we got it through a whole nother route. Right, right. We transform and then we <laughs> do cool stuff, <laughs> and cool then we stuff. find, yeah, That's and then right. we find what you think is relaxation, perhaps. Yeah. yeah. Valerie, just a couple comments. Okay. Let me. I don't want to forget the first one. That is excellent, and <laughs> I think the definition of song is transforming, rather than just relax. Okay. That, that is really cool. Um, really cool. Now I'm all excited about how am I going to use that <laughs> when I'm talking to other people. Um, and we must have had some kind of mind meld thing going on. You do it with Scott. So you and I had it going on. You were talking about <clears throat> when he was talking about his neck and, and that being painful and then you were saying how the body will feel threatened and don't, don't go there. I was telling somebody that last night, you know, she has a hip thing going on and it's like, well, we need to find a way where you can hold that posture. And if you're feeling at all pain, your body's threatened. It don't, it don't want to go there and you don't want to introduce threat to your body that ain't going to help anybody you know especially you so transformation and watch your body listen to your body so it doesn't feel threatened you find your way so that um, you can still maintain that posture or that movement without that fear because there's fear with being threatened right so cool. 
uh, very cool points. Very cool. <laughs> Excellent. Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, Scott. Um, it's funny because I uh, what Jonathan was saying before because when I what I've been kind of using what I use is kind of my guidepost is thinking about how how William does his form because he just turns on that axis like it's like somebody drove a pole through him it's it's amazing to watch and that's what I've been trying to go for you know, you know trying to think about how how it looks when William does it and then try and get that feeling when I do it. Yeah, no, you're right. You're right. He's he's got that central. It's really it, it's a knowingness for him. You know, he doesn't he doesn't have to think about it. It's just it's there. Yeah, cool. Okay, thank you all so much. It's been very good. Thank you. Appreciate your comments. Thank you very much. Thank you, Maria. Thank you, Maria. Love you, Maria. <laughs> I love you guys. Love you too. Love you.